welcome back to our channel. We have another video for, again for you guys, and this is for me lacking of not posting the past almost 10 days, two weeks or so. This look was done with my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I just recently bought this. Um, I'd seen a lot of YouTube gurus, you know, use this palette and the color pigmentation just seemed so amazing that I had to try it for myself. So I purchased it from my local Sephora and when I bought this, the girl was actually telling me that they're not actually eyeshadows and that these are actually pressed pigments. So this is the palette right here. All these colors are so beautiful and so pigmented. I really was excited to create a look with this and this is what I came up with. Um, I thought it turned out, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I had a friend that said it reminds her of mermaid makeup and I can totally see that. So maybe if I'm a mermaid one day for Halloween I can wear this. Anyway, so yeah, this is the look. Um, my sister mentioned in her previous video that we are doing a little mini giveaway. So this giveaway is going to happen when we reach 100 subscribers. So if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do. We just wanted to give you guys a heads up. And my sister and I will be posting a video soon with the two of us um, stating what the rules are and how to enter so you can potentially win the giveaway. Uh, we're not sure what the giveaway is going to consist of yet, but I promise you it'll be worth your while. It's not going to be like something lame or silly. It'll be something quite decent. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, so that's everything. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and please share this uh, with your friends and family. We would love that and we totally appreciate it. So if you want to get this look, please keep watching. All right, let's get this tutorial started. So we're gonna start off by priming our eyes. Of course, I'm using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. It's very important to use a primer with this palette because it is highly pigmented and it could potentially stain your eyelids. All right, next we are gonna start off with the first color and we're taking the color Freak. And I'm just using the brush that came with the palette and it's just a dense all over eyeshadow brush. So you can use anything that you have. And we're just gonna pack this all over the eyelid. Next, to make blending a little bit easier, I'm taking a blending brush and I'm dipping it into a neutral nude shadow. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease. Next, we're going in with my Elizabeth Arden Glimmer Powder and just highlighting underneath the brow bone. Taking that same brush from the palette, we are then going to use the color Fringe. We're gonna also put this all over the eyelid and this is just gonna create dimension in the eye. And going back in with my blending brush, I'm just gonna blend everything out in the crease so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm taking a crease brush and I'm going in with the shade Gonzo and this color is going to go in the crease and in the outer corner of my eye. Next, we're gonna go in with the shade Chaos and we're using the same crease brush and it's gonna go right over top of that Gonzo shade and this color is just gonna help create depth in the crease. Go in with your blending brush again and blend everything out. Next, 
Next I'm going in with an angled brush and I'm using the color Gel Tip. And this is gonna go on the lower lash line. Then I'm taking any pencil brush and I'm just buffing it all out. Taking the same angled brush, we're going in with the shade Urban and this is going over that first color we put on. And again, taking that pencil brush and buffing everything out. So we're gonna go in with that same angled brush and we're going in with the shade Chaos. And this is just going kind of halfway on the lower lash line. You guys know the drill by now, I'm sure. Go back in with your pencil brush and blend everything out. Next, I'm going in with my L'Oreal liquid liner and I'm just gonna create a winged liner. And then I'm using my Jordana mascara and I'm applying a couple coats of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And just go back in with your crease brush and take the shade Chaos and just put a little bit more in the crease just to create a lot more depth. And then go back in with your blending brush and blend everything out again. Next, we're going in with a cold liner. I'm using a skin toned um, cold liner and I'm gonna put this in my waterline. So I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to apply in that. I like to use my finger to apply the product and work most of it in to warm it up. And then I like to go in with my flat top kabuki brush to blend everything out. I'm taking that small pencil brush and we're gonna highlight in the inner corner and I'm using the shade Revolt. Next, I'm going in with some Ardell False Lashes. I'm not gonna show you guys how I did it because it took me forever, so boom. For contouring and bronzing, I'm going in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just applying that underneath my cheekbones and a little bit on my cheeks as well and on my forehead. Next, I'm going in with a Smashbox um, bronzer, just over top of everything. Next, I'm going in with a blending brush and I'm going back in with my Benefit Lula bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose. Next, I'm going in with a Milani blush, and this is the shade Luminoso. Of course, next we're going to highlight, I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden Glimmer Powder, and I'm going to apply this on the high points of my face. Last 
but not least, we're gonna finish this look with a L'Oreal lip gloss, and, and this is in the shade Nude Ballet. So as always, I'm going to show you what I used on my face. Um, so I didn't bring it up, but my Neostrata mattifying face fluid, duh, I use it all, all the time, every day, because I'm, I'm such a grease muffin. I, like, secrete oil like crazy. Anyway, so after I did that, I primed my face with the Porefessional Primer by Benefit. And today, for the first time ever, I used a drugstore foundation that I just purchased. And I think it looks pretty good, but I'm still... I mean, I don't know. I think it still, I think it turned out pretty nice, but I still love my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So what I used today was the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W4. And of course, I used my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush to apply it uh, for my brows. I filled them in with the Brow Wiz uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This stuff is awesome. Yeah, and that's everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Everything that you need to know is linked down below in the uh, description box. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.